What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So this is just a second video about the same thing really. This is mostly for mobile and also to talk about a couple of changes that we kind of didn't really go into because obviously predominantly we play on console. That is our platform of choice. It's PS5 but there are a couple of differences between what they've released and the information and update that's going to be coming for mobile devices like iOS and Android and for a console. And I just wanted to have a chat about that as we log in here and get our login bonuses, right? So you can see here that in the update here from the main menu, depending on what platform you're playing on, right, or what console you're playing on, you will get either two updates or you will get three updates, right? Now I'm going to show you the difference here because we actually have both of them up. So this is for the console version of the game, right? I've already done a full video on it. You can check it out. Yesterday we did a co-op uh, video and talk about the changes coming in the first part of that update, right? Update part two is about the Dream Team in training and about the eFootball League. So essentially what they've done is they're going to be adding adjustments and changes and a complete review of the matchmaking system within eFootball League. Now what I reckon they'll do with that, if you've missed the other part of the video, and this video is mostly for mobile players, I want to get your thoughts on it because I am thinking of doing a little bit of mobile content, right? Um, so give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down in the comments if you would like to see some mobile content, or if you'd like to see me just stick 100% to PS5. We're still going to be doing everything on the PS5 regardless, it would just be extra content, right? But this matchmaking here that they're talking about, I reckon what they're going to do is they're just going to separate out the top tier teams, right? Players with maybe like a 75 win percentage will be able to go into like a Champions League type group stage competition or cup, or something like that where it's within the weekend or it's within a week that you can build towards it, that there might be multiple tournaments during a matchmaking session uh, or a weekend session or a week session, right? They did this in PES 2015. I'm going to work, work on a video of it um, from way back, right? We'll do that during the week, right? But when you actually go to the iOS and Android update here, you will notice that they've actually ha have got a different one here, which uh, is an update that says about the gameplay level adjustment to the difficulty, okay? Now, what they say on this is adjustments will be made to some of the play decisions for the superstar and legend match levels in versus AI matches, as there was a tendency towards excessively high ball possession rates, okay? Now, again, this is kind of, as I said, if you've clicked on this video and you've watched this far and you're saying, you know, why has he done two videos that are very similar? Well, I don't think that this is going to be something that the console gamers will kind of like notice if they don't go into the patch notes for the iOS. And obviously, why would you? I mean, I know people that just play on PS5 or Xbox and they don't touch the iOS version, so they don't see any of the updates, right? So what I would say with this is, it's not what it says here, it's what it could mean in the future, right? Because usually the way things happen is, stuff is kind of introduced on the mobile, um, because that's obviously their large largest player pool. You know, the more people are playing on mobile, okay? And I do think that these adjustments will obviously affect the gameplay going forward. If we are branching into a more traditional kind of offline experience, or at least having that as an option within eFootball 2024, I do feel that they need to have the AI pretty much spot on, right? And where better to test that than the actual gameplay on the mobile devices um, where there's a big, you know, larger kind of portion of data that they can actually get, right? Because I would say that a lot of people are playing the game uh, online on console, right? I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments below. You know, let me know. Just give me your quick uh, comment in the comments below as we do a little bit of a survey ourselves and just say, you know, PS5 um, and just say your console, basically. Yeah, just PS5. Uh, so for me, it would be Barry PS5. Obviously, you won't need to put your name because I'll see your name. <laughs> but yeah, as I said in the other video, if you want to check that out, um, they've also made a couple of changes here. Um, if you haven't already logged in in a few days, you will get those changes. And you can play with Dream Team teams within your training mode, right? So I've covered that in the other video again. The biggest thing I wanted to talk about is the actual AI changes, right? So if you remember way back when, they actually announced changes to the AI, um, where they kind of like, some people would say dumbed down the AI, other people would say that they made it a bit more realistic, but on the superstar difficulty about a month ago, or maybe six weeks ago now, time is moving so fast, they did actually have the AI to a ridiculous level that it felt like playing, right? Superstar AI sometimes feels like playing a top division one player. Like I'm talking top 500 in the world player. You know, he's fake shotting, he's changing direction, he's rapidly accelerating, stopping, accelerating, uh, double touch, tricks, um, you know, stunning shots. Like he's doing everything, super cancel, uh, and obviously as well, 
they do have a tendency to know what you're going to do before they do it. I mean, everyone in the AI uh, superstar level or legend level ha is some sort of psychic because they know how to do it, right? So I want to get your thoughts, right? This is more a video of just a short video just to kind of talk about the changes as we showed there. Um, if you have missed my other video, check that out. But as I said, this is mostly for mobile. Let me know because I don't play on mobile, right? So I want to get a kind of a feel for if you are watching this video and you play mobile, Number one, would you like to see me do mobile? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for mobile. Let me know what console you're playing on. And also, what do you think of these gameplay adjustments? Would you like to see them in the console version? We've already had the AI experience tweaked because people were saying it was too difficult to score against Legend. Now we're talking about, you know, uh, teams that have an excessively high ball possession rates. This is an issue that is going to cross over, I would think, when they eventually make the move to crossplay or when they eventually bring in and usher in, which I think this is for, an offline-centric mode, right? So we will probably have more details on that um, very soon. There is more to come if E3.2. But until then, lads, short and sweet, let me know, and uh, I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, that's it.